Alright, more backstage footage. Mr. 13, DJ Bones on the camera. Another UK legend. Absolute pleasure to meet you, brother. I'm not even going to introduce him because you should know. If you're on our channel, you should really know who this guy is. Serious, for real, man. So, yeah, man, we're back here. This is the People's Army thing, man. How you feeling, brother? It's good to see this love out here, man, isn't it? It is, it is, it is. I've been going to their last few events. And it's, it's, um, it's inspiring me still, man. It's making me want to come back. I am coming back still. Because of them, really. Oh, that's love. Yeah. You can catch me soon. Alright. So it's mad, that's like, that's a mad cycle bro, you can consider you're actually, like, you inspired some of these guys here and now coming back round now they're inspiring you, oh, it's it's like, good, that's bro. a beautiful it's thing bro. It's good, it's good, it's good. Especially like people like Kate's and Logic, yeah. like, at the start of their thing, I was, I was promoting too, so I was putting them on stage and Definitely. giving them little bits and pieces of advice of what they needed and you know, yeah. trying to help them through, you know what I mean? And I'm trying to do the right thing, and I've been doing that ever since still because I've been working with um, young rappers and like, some hip hop, some grime, and just artists in general from the UK. We've got a little charity set up, okay. we've been working with the youth so, like, and trying them like stuff through music, you know what I mean? And actually trying to get them into music the right way, whether it be like film or camera work, right, you know, showing them about PRS and like, things like that. It's a bit about music business, not just about spitting. Like, I've been doing workshops and stuff like that. Ever since like, I've been really spitting and you see me putting out music, I've still been doing music behind the scenes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright, that's love, man. Well, definitely, yeah, you can say this guy's definitely on a grow man thing, and we like to show this to like, like, I like to show these interviews to my parents, bro. It's one of them things, so I just want you to show people that don't know too much about hip hop. They might just hear it on the radio as, oh, this, this event got shut down, or oh, this person got stabbed, or something like that. So give them a bit more about like what hip hop means to you, bro, what it's done for your life, bro. You know what I'm saying? Well, for me, it's how you use it properly. Certain people use it a certain way. I use it to like really talk about things what's happening in my life. Like, you know what I mean? My life is an like, interesting life for certain youths. So, like, a lot of youths can, especially a lot of youths on a bad path, can learn a lot from my life. Because I definitely was on that path and I talk about certain things, but obviously, what I'm doing now is positive. Isn't it? Exactly. So that makes them know movement. that. They could come from exactly the same thing and do something positive and then I've turned around and started working with the same kind of youth that I was in. Exactly. And I always said I'd do something like that, you know what I mean? So that's how I see hip hop, it's like a message thing, it's a, it's a thing that you get your frustrations out, it's a thing that you, you party to, it's a thing where you express yourself. You, 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 hip hop's got so much different little angles, genres and, and angles, you know what I mean? So. And then you can talk about hip hop culture if you want to. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's a big thing, and it's used to do everything. It's used on big film soundtracks. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's mainstream. And yeah, they're, they're trying to you know yeah, steal so, it for marketing now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're marketing. They're using it to do ads. You know what I mean? All kinds Presidential of presidential campaigns and shit. Right? Also, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. You've got people selling clothes off of it. People selling products, and you know what I mean? So oh, love, man. it's gone. It's gone global, like, and, and like, a lot of people that was around at the start shouldn't really screw about that. They should screw if it don't get redistributed, right, and, okay. and, and the real hip-hop don't get to survive. Right. But it's just a part of hip-hop becoming very popular, right. you know what I mean? That, that the level's what it's gone on to, like, they're going to use it for that. So it's, it's like a double-edged sword. Certain times I see it, it's like it's got sold out, but then at certain times it's like, yeah, it's, it's progress. See what I'm saying? But yeah, they have to do the stuff. right things yeah, in the yeah, progress, yeah, you understand? Wisely, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so, yeah, I'm trying to do the right things in the progress, isn't it? You know Definitely, I mean? man. And I'm glad people like you, like, are still remembering, man, like us, and documenting that, yeah, we did do something. Certain people try and go, like, we never done that. Nah, it's not that with us, bro. It's not that at all. Yeah. Definitely, man. Yeah. Well, yeah, so, like, we have to ask the artists, like, what's your biggest up and down in this game, man? You've been doing it for so long. Like, obviously, you've had so many highlights, but, like, what's your biggest, like, it's hard to put a moment in, like, you know what I'm saying, but... Hey, the downs are easy, easy, bro. Uh, <laughs> yeah, give us some downs if we start with the lows. Alright, I'm, I'm, I'm a real dude, so you ask yeah, me a real bro. question. That's yeah. what I want, no one's, ever, I want. Never, no one's ever asked me that, yeah? My biggest down... The biggest down would be Estelle getting signed, being part of um, Sterling, which is my, my crew. Yeah? For the younger ones who don't know me, if you know Estelle, yeah, you've done the stuff with Kanye West and that. She was down with us, and I mean, no disrespect, I'm not going to do her thing, but people like her, 
should have looked back and done things. They shouldn't have just sold us out and just gone and done this. So you're starting without looking back and trying to do something, you know what I mean? And probably someone like Fallacy doing the same kind of thing when he got signed. Because he was in Sterling too and he was, he was very close. Just a lot of people in the scene, when they've got that, that, that time or that light, ain't really turned back and, uh, and shed the light, you know what I mean? They've been whole solo. And like, you've got to look at America and like, people like Wu Tang Clan and Rockefeller and like, even if you don't like him, people like P. Diddy, what he's actually done, then he's brung Mary J. Blige, he's brung Biggie, he's brung Tolkien, he's up to now still bringing artists. So it's not about one person. When they go through the door, they don't slam the door shut. But that's what a lot of English artists do over it. And the hip hop artists are coming from a like, minority thing. You've got to understand, you need to open up the doors. It's not about just you being out there doing it. You know what I mean? And, and probably the biggest down now is to see some of the youths that they call hip hop now, like the chipmunks and, 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 and the dizzies doing the washed out music. People like Chipmunk, I think he's a good MC still. What you Dizzy, mean? I used to really like Dizzy, I don't really know what's happening to him. I'm talking about flow and lyrics, yeah, I don't really know what's happening. And I definitely don't like the rhythms. And I definitely don't like the rhythms. I'm not saying don't broaden it out, I'm saying broaden it out and go for your thing, but don't leave your original essence. Always put out something for the original thing that started you, yeah. Definitely, definitely.